Okay guys, we got something special for you today. We are going to uh, see if we can do a Dollar Tree haul for sensory toys. Yeah. This is a challenge that we have. You know, sensory <laughs> toys can be really, really expensive on the internet. Uh, you go to like sensory toy specific websites and you're paying out the nose for like spiky balls and fidgets and stuff. So we're gonna see if we can do a budget sensory toy haul, maybe even find yeah, some why? things that you wouldn't think of that we can assemble yeah. to make sensory toys, something like that. So yeah. ready? Ready. Let's do it. Okay. Light up, squish toys, that's an easy one. Yep. There you go. Good eye, good find. Thanks. Slime. Use outside only. <laughs> okay, uh, we'll try it. Put it in the cart. Noise putty. Try it. Yes. Absolutely not. That's a no-go. No, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Pom-poms? Yeah. Abby loves them. Abby loves the stem on these. Okay. I think it's the... The light re reflecting off of it and the feeling of it. And the sound. And the sound. There we go. Those are good for OT. Just These? Nope. Those. Oh, yeah. Those are great for occupational therapy. Yep. Fine motor skills. Mm hmm. A little more advanced than what we're looking for, but. Those, those would be cool too, yeah. Okay, so this isn't sensory, but this is really cool. I just found this. So this is like a, a giant dice, uh -huh. but it's dry erase on each oh. side. So you can put your own things on there. So say you wanted to play like a game, like you get to, you know, what do you want to do for ABA therapy? And they get to roll the dice and kind of see it, puts things up to chance, you know, and it's, like that. isn't that, wouldn't that be a cool yeah. idea? So they have these here too. How about these? You could like get a little container and like they could pour them back and forth because mm. a lot of our kids like to do that kind of stuff. You could put them in there and they could just rub your hands through them, put like sensory toys in them. Yeah. I like that. Think? Yep. I like those too. Yeah. Same concept, but right. these are not hard. Yeah. So put them in like a jar that. or something or yeah. into a cup. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And you could do color sorting with it. You could. Yeah. Yep. Definitely color sorting. I just saw these too. So these are not necessarily sensory, but great for OT, for occupational therapy. That working on that pincer grasp, yep. the fine motor skills. Okay. Buckets. Like yep. Um, sensory bins, you know, for like putting putting beans in, stuff like that. Get one of those with a lid. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Another good uh, occupational therapy. Stickers. Any stickers will do. Um, again, real fine motor skills. Yeah. Peeling those stickers off. See, you're getting two for one, guys. It's a sensory video and occupational therapy activity video. Boom. Shaving cream. It doesn't need shaving cream. So I prefer the unscented if they have it. Original? No, but still scented. It's going to say unscented. Okay, so you can do the unscented or sensitive. Although it says keep out of reach of children. Keep out of reach of children. Uh, yeah, I prefer the unscented. I don't see any unscented here, though. Yeah. Shaving cream if you, is always a win. If you guys haven't seen our shaving cream videos, I'm gonna put a link up here because because they're awesome. That's a good one. Yeah. I like that. Oh, it's kind of trippy. <laughs> uh, lights might be flashing a little bit quick. I know we've got some um, some kids on the spectrum with some with epilepsy, Seizure, so yeah. maybe not that because I I would want them to hold that up to their eyes. Did hair gel for hair gel or for sensory items. Yep. <laughs> This, this is awesome. This stuff is so good for making stuff, squishy stuff. So we also made a sensory board a little while back where we took like normal household items. We had like a hand chamois and one of these car washing sponges. And then we also used like a loofah, uh, just things you'd find around the house. And we uh, used a industrial stapler and stapled it to a wooden cutting board and made this like sensory board with all these different types of sensory uh, surfaces and yeah. and uh, feelings on them. That, that one was a big hit. Abigail it loved was. that. She'd just hold it in her lap and stem on it. We so. did it on a cutting board. Yeah. So. yeah. That was another DIY video. Yeah. I will link that one up here. So you can take beans, like just a bag of beans, put those in one of your containers that you get. You can hide stuff in it and the kids love it. Abby loved this when she was younger. Yeah, she's so. a big fan of beans. You can't use, I think you can't use the red kidney beans. They can be toxic if they eat them uncooked 
I don't remember. I'll put Make it. Make sure you Google it. <laughs> well, I'll put it on the bottom of the screen. Which one's okay. not to use? Okay, there. We just found a little gem, a little diamond in the rough. It's a it's a mermaid skin mug sleeve. Yeah. I'm like super close to my face. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's a mug sleeve, so you can put it around like their cup. Or they can wear it around their arm, carry it around. I'm sure you can put it around just about anything. Yeah. Like the armrest in the car, you can put it on that. Their seatbelt in the car, all kinds of yeah. stuff. They'd have a little a little fidget, a little sensory thing right there with the mermaid yeah. sleeves. So we'll get that too. Okay, guys. Now you guys know about Orbeez, the sensory beads, whatever you want to call them. These are not the same thing. These are scented. Don't buy these <laughs> thinking you're going to get some stimming done in those. You, Your child will, will, will stink. Of smell good stuff, but it won't smell good. These plastic, like scrub sponges things, what are they called? Non stick scrubbers? Yeah, these are great. These are good for like the sensory board um, or just as little fidgets because you can kind of turn them inside and out like little donuts. Don't get like the Brillo ones. What? Because again, those are going to leave a residue on your hand. Yeah, so and they're made of those. metal. Yeah. So non stick, the non stick ones only. Okay, $16 we spent. And we're gonna see what we can come up with for like a little sensory bin. You know, kind of try to put it all into one and have like this little bin that you can pull out uh, for sensory time for just 16 bucks, including the bin. Let's see, let's see what we got. We will put this together. We got a couple of things that we're gonna change up a little bit maybe and, and, and do some DIY stuff. And oh, stick around to the end because I think we'll give this one away. We'll ship it out to somebody who might need a little sensory bin for their kiddo. Okay, we're home. I'm not gonna act like we just got home from shopping. It's the evening time. We just got done with our day though. We're gonna put together this uh, sensory assortment that we got. Me and my PIC. PIC? Partner in crime. Oh, I didn't know what that meant. Oh. <laughs> oh, crafting time. Woo, my yeah. favorite. Woo. Okay, I would love to know if you guys have any unique uh, sensory items, maybe something that you use to stim with, or a sensory item that you like or that your kid likes. Uh, we've seen everything from ladles to to spoons, like cereal spoons, yep. to, like lots of kitchen items oftentimes. Yeah, I have one friend that Coat has- hangers? Yes, I have a friend that has one of those Bobby things and he fills it with little play cards and stems off of that. Yep. We've seen strings like with things tied to them and they spin them yeah. constantly. Oh, the palm frond things. Yep. He walks around with it all the time. All kinds of cool stuff. Yeah. So you don't have you don't have to buy the, the the big budget sensory items. All right, let's get this show on the road. Okay, we gotta test out this slime to make sure that it's passable slime. Can you put it on your arm? Oh yeah. Yeah, totally. Good. Yep. Okay. This is noise putty. What? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a boy. <laughs> oh, she likes that. Yep. These are winners. <laughs> Yay. Yep. That's real slime. That'll work. Do you like these, Abby? Aren't they cool? Yeah. Those are great, right? Oh, she wants the cellophane. What's the cellophane I got there? Always a winner. Should we send that? Comes on almost everything. Okay, like I said, we're doing the giveaway, guys. We're gonna give all this stuff away to one of you guys down in the comments. All you have to do is comment on the video and then you have to share it. So you're gonna have to prove that you shared the video somewhere, you know, share it like autism mom, autism parent, uh, Facebook page, yep. uh, share it with a friend via email, whatever. Get it out there, share it with people. You know, so you can send us a screenshot once we choose your name as a winner from the comments section. We're also gonna send um, this dry erase thing. This would be pretty cool. I don't think Abigail would be able to use this, but uh, somebody that might be verbal, um, can make choices, that kind of thing, this would come in handy for. So we got some dry erase markers and the dry erase dice. This would be really fun. So if that makes sense to you guys, what you would do is you would put like choices on here. Maybe it's like um, a preferred act, you know, a list of preferred activities. And they roll the dice to see what they get to do for a reinforcer. That's a good idea, yeah. yeah. So we're gonna include that in there. These slimes and putties, 
I, I will, um, I'll seal these up good so that we can send them out to you. These again, these are gonna be for color sorting, um, and then they're just the little fuzzies, so super sensory, lots of sensory input there. That one's yours, kiddo, and then your cellophane. What do you think about this? She loves some pom-poms. Yeah. This one also, Abigail wouldn't have a whole lot of use for it, but we did get it uh, for, for one of you guys to win with this, this little brain teaser thing. I bet this would be a whole lot of fun to stem off of, or just use as a puzzle, either way. Right, double function. Okay, the last one you're probably wondering about, the hair gel and the duct tape, whatever that is right here. We got this cool green duct tape. A couple things that we didn't get the Dollar Tree, which we could have, but Ziploc bag and food coloring. Uh, if you want to see how to make this, I will leave a link for that video right up here for you to check out. Uh, but it's a really fun DIY sensory item. Are you excited to send this to your friends? Here, are you going to keep one? And then we'll send the other one. How's that? That works. Good plan? Okay, let me put this together real quick. Okay, this is it. Isn't that cool? So this, if you haven't seen our DIY sensory toy video, uh, this was one of my favorites. It's, it's a gel pad, and it's got food coloring in it, and it squishes all around. It's pretty self-explanatory, but if you want to know how to make it the way that I make it, you can check out that link in the video. And I'll put all the links down in the video description too, so you can so they're real easy for you to find. Uh, now, word of warning, guys: fathering autism is not responsible for you getting blue goo all over your house. I would recommend that this is like a parent-guided activity. Yes playing with this one, okay? Well, Just and so you know. the other ones we used are more industrial type Right, the bags, bags. are mo this much more industrial. This is just a Ziploc bag. Yep. So again, parental supervision. Yes, like, we're gonna seal warning. all this stuff up. <laughs> <Warning. laughs> we're, yeah. we're gonna seal it all up so it ships safely to you guys. Um, I hope that the winner enjoys it, our little sensory kit, and I hope it gave you guys some ideas uh, for some inexpensive sensory toy ideas so you don't have to go out and spend a fortune on sensory toys. I mean, look at this. We got a whole, a whole bucket yeah. and then some. And it's so nice because you for can $16. just for sixteen dollars. Yeah, and you can just take it anywhere with you if yeah. you're going over to relatives, like for the holidays. Don't bring the blue goo to the relatives <laughs> or the slime. Everything else is fine. Everything else, though. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you're going. You know, if if your kiddo traveling, this is perfect for the car. Yep. So there you go. It's a good. Good little kit. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that like button. Hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new here. We will see you next time. Bye. Bye. There's no after the beep, guys, um, because I wanted to share something with you. So while we were in Dollar General, there was a family that didn't have any money on their debit card, so they couldn't buy. Um, they were just buying groceries and, like, household stuff that they needed uh, with a little kid with them. And my wife is such an awesome person that she – it was only 20 bucks, but, you know – um, I think we've all been there where like 20 bucks really makes a huge difference. So she she paid for their stuff and I'm lucky to have such a Aww. awesome awesome girl with such a that. big heart. I I'm not I'm I'm not doing this to give you recognition. I'm doing this to tell everybody else do something nice for somebody else, you know? No matter how little it is, it can make their day, their week, it, you know. You know? Yeah. Do something nice for somebody else. Yep. Okay. Now we're saying bye. <laughs> bye.